Yeah, so recently I was looking around at some new software and I got an update for machine. So I want to check out the machine update and see how fast it's running and do some like videos on it. I want to check it out more. So I went in here and I went into machine and that update doesn't appear on the software. So the site's kind of slow in that kind of uh, information with the software update. So I don't see it here. So I'm just going to like um, pull this down. And what I normally will do, I got machine up already, as you can see right there. I'm going to pretty much just, um, I'll keep it open. I'm going to go to native access. So I've native access in my browser somewhere. Actually, probably in a dock. Native access is right over here, native access. So native access goes along with machine. And native access is where all my software is. And then that tells me this is not updated. This should be updated, not installed or whatever. So I come to here first, not installed. So nothing installed, okay. Available updates. Ooh, we got another machine update again. Oh, this is massive. So they updated massive. So I want to update massive real quickly, of course. And we'll see if that updates. Meanwhile, I go back to here. I'm going to go here to installed products. And I'm going to look at something here in installed products. Um, I want to see the update because I know I got the update. I saw it recently. Oh, here it is. So here's machine right here. I'll click on this. And you'll see here on the side here, we've got some information. It's at 2.16. So I think I did update it at the end of October. And I'll go here to installation path. Okay, so it's in my native instrument folder in applications. And it has here changes. So I have an Apple Silicon machine. And as you can see here, I passed the minimum requirements. Added support for Apple Silicon. Added support for VST3 hosting. That's great. Add support for VST3 migration. Opening a project that contains VST2 should automatically migrate to VST3. Instances while preserving parameter settings. This feature is available for plugins that have added VST migration support. That's pretty good. And they fixed something here. They fixed issues with uh, machine browser freezing when browsing results list with previews on an Apple Silicon computer. That's great. So we got some other fixes here and this is the latest update. So I want to check it out, of course, but what I do first normally, I just want to see it. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, go here to about this Mac. Well, matter of fact, let me check my update now. Oh, it's done. That was quick. So massive is now updated. Great. And now I want to go here to about this Mac and about this Mac right there. And I'm going to go here to uh, more info. So I'm on the latest version, which is Ventura 13.0. I haven't had a problem yet. So, um, you know, I'm saying that like, there might be a problem. You, know, you never know. You get the software, you got it. Okay, this is going to be good. I got new software. What happened? What was that? What? You know, you never know. So I, I just go after it because I figured, look, I'm not know better to do. I just play with it and fix it. I want my clients. I got to help them out, right? So it's always good. You know, and all my clients, of course, are in our school or in our, our website. We got a little school there. Uh, what you can see in link downstairs, I mean, under here, which will say Sable Kings, right? Anyway, let's go back here. I'm looking for, here we go, system report. They've moved it from the other one. Okay, now I got to go to applications. Applications, wait for the list to propagate here. Come on, I got a lot of applications, so good. Here we go. My applications are right here. I'll pull down to here, and I want to find it. So I know it's machine, so I can scroll to it here. And I'll find it right here inside the system. It's kind of cool. Um, we've got it right over here. Uh, machine, 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 machine. Here it is. There's machine. Latest version is 2.16.0 plus 19. Well, I mean, 29. That's pretty serious. And so you see here, it's universal here. And this is a universal application. Now, I can press here, go to kind. And the kind, of course, is universal again. And I'll scroll back up here. And we have Intel and we have Universal. But the video about having a Universal, Universal is going to work both ways for uh, people who have uh, non-Apple Silicon computers and then who have Apple Silicon computers. So it's cool that it works that way and it's going to be great for me. So I want to go back down here and actually get uh, what I'm looking for, which is machine. I had a machine a minute ago, but then I moved stuff around. And so now I've got to go back to machine and here it is right here. Boom. This machine is massive. And you see here, Massive also is universal. Now, this is great. But the problem will be some plugins have not been optimized 
for the Apple Silicon. So if you're going to try and use them, as I just read, the VST3s and the VST2s, we may have some collision going on here. That's kind of odd. Now, what I also do, I use an app called Architect, and I'm going to show you that right now. It's down here in the bottom. It should be already open as I plan for this video here. And um, where is it? Oh, here it is right here. And so I will use this a lot of time to check on the app that has been updated. So here, and I just checked on that, uh, Massive. I want to look at, um, let's look at uh, Massive first. And here's Massive. And we see here that it's been optimized for Apple Silicon. We see Apple Silicon right here. Check. We see 64-bit Intel. Check. We also see not quarantine check and valid signature check and also notarized check. So it's all checked off. This is going to work. That's really cool. So I'll get out of that one real quick. And then I can come to here also, and I really want to check out um, machine. So we also have, of course, you can see right here, we have the machine VSTs. That means I can plug these into another software. And then we have, we see Beats VST, and we also have uh, MPC and it's massive right there. So I'm gonna find machine. So I'm gonna open up. I'm gonna open up that machine thing. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go to applications. Let's find applications, which is right here. And then, so I've got to go to native instruments folder. And you got to find out where stuff's at. You got to know where it's at actually too. So I know it's in here, and then I know machine's gonna be in here somewhere because native instruments has a lot of products. Okay, here we go. And here we are in this one here. We got the application right here. There it is, machine. I want to open it up, and now. In this software called Architect, I can see that it has been optimized. Apple Silicon, 64-bit, no, which is not quarantined, all right? So it doesn't have the corona. And then we also have, we have valid signatures, then we have notarized. And you wanna make sure that this is correct when you actually start running your software. I check my software all the time. And I also, when I start running it too, I also wanna check my, um, System totally so that's important to me to I'll come to here look for system activity boom pop that on I want to see how heavy that system activity is but normally it never is because I have Apple Silicon So I'm running a MacBook Pro with an M1 Max chip and so I've got 64 gigabytes of memory So I am good Just want to check always because I'm I'm new with it I just had this Mac now for at least six months now, so I'm really pleased with it. It's probably more like seven but it's really great. I mean, I love it what it does, and it's made me so much more relaxed about something going wrong. I have machine on now, so I'm going to load a, any project I see in. I load a project in, so I prepare for this. This is project plugin in not migrated. So some plugins won't have what we need, right? So as I had read earlier about that, so you're going to have problems with plugins. I'm just looking at actually these are um, factory installed projects. So this is a problem you may have also. We may have to wait till Reactor and some other stuff has been updated, but it's cool that machine's updating stuff. It's really good. And that's it. So I'll check in a few. Peace. <laughs>